Well, 2020 has been a tough year for everyone and as border restrictions ease around the country, Aussies are now looking for alternative holiday destinations. Now, instead of going overseas, we're rediscovering the beauty of our own backyard and there's no one who knows this country better than getaway presenter Katrina Rowntree, who joins us now. Katrina, welcome to the Ben Robin Robbo Show. Hello, everyone, all around this beautiful nation of ours. It's lovely to see you. Oh, it's lovely to see you too. Look, you've travelled around the world as a presenter for Getaway for a few years now, but tonight a special edition will focus on Australian destinations. Absolutely. Uh, well, for obvious reasons, but, you know, there's a, a silver lining with all that we've, we've experienced this year, and that is, of course, that we are not heading off overseas for holidays and we are exploring our own backyard. Mm. And you can see on the screen now some images of uh, the stories that we'll be showing, um, all of the classics. I, I went to this beautiful Snowy River um, uh, horse riding trek. It was absolutely gorgeous. But, you know, just looking at those pictures, doesn't it make you wistful for how magnificent our own country is? Yeah. 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 So, Katrina, I, you, you just mentioned I'm the. Not that <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mentioned your Brumby riding tour. I was lucky enough to ride a Brumby. It's they're pretty scared. How did you? Uh, how did you take it? Ah, uh, my mum got me into horse riding when I was about two years old, and so for me, the faster I can go, the better. Any excuse oh. to ride, I absolutely love it and for this particular one all your senses are working over time you've got the smell of the bush you've got the sounds of the birds you've of course got this incredible horse that that um that's in charge that you you as they say you, you let it have its head and and off you go and then as you well know with those um with those mountain men they they have so many stories to share i felt really proud that i could share oh, you're that on story. the pace there <laughs> yeah, well, as I say, I really like my horse riding, and I'm really lucky with my day job that I I get to um, I get to go for it around the world every so often. It is actually a really great skill to have if you want to be a travel reporter. Um, <laughs> but I have to recommend any option to do that, even just for a weekend. A lot of people sign up for that trip just um, just for a weekend, and that is all that you need to um, to be reinvigorated. Totally recommend it. Hmm. Katrina, this just goes to show you... Oh, sorry, just across the road is pretty good too. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina, this just goes to show you how much I've been lurking around the TV industry. I actually did work experience on your first day working on What's Up Doc, and I'll never forget they said, look, we've got this new presenter, it's her first day uh, on What's Up Doc at Channel 9, and I got to walk in and you just finished hair and makeup and you looked amazing, and I just was... I was blindsided by um, watching that first episode of yours. This is a long time ago, though, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so lovely that you say that. And it also goes to prove uh, I'm not sort of taking things away from that experience, but how incredible doing work experience is. I know that I did work experience. I did work. Ex I actually did work for free for years. And look at you now. Look at you now. Um, <laughs> well, you know what was I love that. just going to say? Sorry, Katrina, you know what I was just going to say to you was that what I came back uh, because I had family working at Channel 9, but I came back and there was the Christmas party for Channel 9 and you had this, like, Cinderella dress on for the Christmas party. It was the first year yeah. working at Channel 9 and you were uh, like a Disney princess and I followed you around. So, look, you probably won't remember this, but do you remember that dress that you wore at that Channel 9 Christmas party? The pink dress. <laughs> I, yes. I could actually run and get it out of the wardrobe right now if you wanted what? me to. I, you oh, my God. I could have worn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that speaks amazing. volumes about you. But, Katrina, what I find hilarious is Ben wasn't actually meant to be on What's Up, Doc. How did you end up there, Ben? <laughs> Well, he's making me, he's setting me up here, but I was originally uh, working with Daryl that day, but uh, Daryl Darryl wasn't thrilled with me um, that, and he was like, look, and moved me on to someone else. He sacked you. And the person, <laughs> he fired me, yeah. And they were like, don't worry about it. You can stay working here. Uh, What's up, Doc, is filming. And, you know, this this presenter, it's her first day. And so I'd just been fired from doing this with Daryl, and then I got to come in and, and work with you. And I, I can remember it like it was yesterday. You were so, yeah. I, I thought, oh, my God, this woman is doing her first day presenting on this show, and you were a natural. 
unnatural. Yeah. I know. I I agree with you. <laughs> but, 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 the, but the reality is, there's nothing else that I can do. Like it's the only <laughs> thing to my bow. Okay, maybe horse riding as well. But everybody says, what else? You know how they ask you that question. What would you be doing if you weren't doing this job? Oh, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I would be I would be doing it for free somewhere else. Uh, this is my only skill, and I'm so pleased that life led you into our little studio because we were all about fun. And you may remember that Rob and Craig, who were my producers then, they went on to create uh, Rove Enterprises, and they ended up on Channel Ten. Oh, Craig Campbell. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah, and Rob really. <clears throat> Wow. I didn't it. remember the producers, to be honest with you. I was mesmerised by you and you only. I don't remember anyone else being there. <laughs> oh, that, that's so lovely that you say that. And something that, um, if you may remember, what I remember about that Christmas party, aside from that extraordinary dress, and I think my, my bust was up here, it really, woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> um, I remember um, Bruce Gingell was at that Christmas party. and, wow. um, and he sort of he was like, okay, that's that's the one to watch. Watch, well, I mean. And it, like, and it was in that studio. Yes. Do you remember, it was, what was the num name of that studio? What was the number? It was their big studio uh, at Channel 9 at Bendigo Street. Yeah. Uh, I'll have a picture in here. Um, I think, was it like number three or something? Or, I think I remember so. That. I think so. Yeah. 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 Yeah, anyway, well, we'll catch up about it another time. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, maybe we should give you guys some space. <laughs> hey, look, um, Great Getaway starts tonight at 7.30 on Channel 9. It is a great special. I've already had a look. It's just really great to see Australia. And I have no interest in going anywhere else in the world in, at the moment. So it's a great place for seeing what's out there and what's available. Katrina, thanks for being with us today. Oh, my absolute pleasure. And it's it's so lovely that people still love their armchair travel, that they're still supporting Getaway after nearly 30 years yeah. and that we are creating these lovely memories wherever we go, as we've just heard. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Oh, look, it's an absolute pleasure. We'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Mwah. Bye. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, oh, Ben, Rob and Rob, oh, Shen, Rob and Rob, oh, Show.